What's going on everybody? It's Jelly J NBA back with another video. And today's video comes from a question I proposed on Twitter this morning regarding arguably three of the best players in the NBA and whose all-time ranking would benefit them the most from winning a championship this year when the season resumes. Before I just jump straight into who I think it would benefit the most, I want to cover what winning a championship would do to each player's all-time rank as well as explain how not capitalizing on winning a championship this year could very well hurt them. But once again guys, I just wanted to thank you for your continued support on this channel. It means the world to me. And if you are new here and love basketball, consider subscribing as I upload basically every single day. Now let's get started. Let's start with the player who is by far the most accomplished on this list and who I think has the best shot of winning a title this year. That being LeBron James. After the Clippers open the season as the betting favorites to win the title, LeBron and the Lakers are now favored once the season resumes. Let's start with the pros of LeBron winning a championship this year. The biggest pro of LeBron winning a championship this season would be that he gets just that much closer to Michael Jordan all time. If LeBron were to win, he would have four championships to MJ six after passing MJ in almost every other statistical category. Another pro for LeBron that would boost his all-time rank is the fact that if he were to win a championship this season, it would be one in his 17th season as a pro. Now what makes this so amazing is the fact that LeBron continues to get better with age and it's something that we did not see with MJ. Now obviously the one glaring con that comes with LeBron not winning a championship this season would be the fact that he gets to up there another year in age and that his durability may start to wear down as his career continues. Although winning a championship this season would inch LeBron's legacy that much closer to Jordan's, LeBron is already a unanimous top 5 player all time, so winning a championship would not boost his all time rank up too much. Now this is where I believe the argument gets interesting for who needs a ring the most this season. And let's start with the guy who is looking to become the first player in NBA history to win finals MVP for three different franchises, Kawhi Leonard. With the way Kawhi's career has played out to this point, we can tell that his legacy will heavily depend on playoff success. This is because he will never play enough games in a season to win MVP and will just not rack up regular season awards like guys like Giannis and LeBron. Now let's get into some of the benefits of Kawhi Leonard winning a championship this year. The first glaring pro of Kawhi winning a championship this season would be the fact that he would now have three championships in his career, most likely three finals MVPs, and he would have given two franchises their first championship in their entire history. Another pro of Kawhi winning a championship this season would be the fact that he would now be tied with Kevin Durant and LeBron James in championships. I think this goes a long way because for him to be tied with two of the greatest players this decade that we've seen will help his all-time rank go a long way. Kawhi Leonard's con of not winning a championship this season is very much equivalent to what LeBron James's con is. And that's the fact that neither of them are getting younger, the Clippers are the fourth oldest team in the NBA, and who knows if PG and Kawhi are going to be able to hold up health-wise, both having dealt with major injuries in their career before. Winning a championship this season, in my opinion, has the ability for Kawhi Leonard to move from top 40, top 30-ish all-time into top 20, top 15. That's how much it can affect him. As for Giannis, I feel as though him winning a championship this season has much more of a boom or bust effect than Kawhi or LeBron. Now when I say boom or bust, I don't mean Giannis's career in general. I believe that he will be a top 5 player for the next 5-10 to 10 years, but I mean his future in Milwaukee. Although I don't believe the absurd trade machines involving Giannis to Golden State, the Kevin Durant move taught us all that nothing is impossible. Now let me get to the pros and cons before I break all Milwaukee fans hearts. One huge pro regarding Giannis winning a championship this season is obviously the potential of him having two MVPs and a championship at age 25. Compare this to LeBron who won his first championship at age 28. Giannis would be three years ahead of the curve. Also, Giannis would have won a ring without forming super team. This I think would boost his all time rank a lot higher. Another pro of Giannis winning a ring this season would be his pending free agency decision. If Giannis is to win a ring, there's no doubt in my mind he doesn't re-sign in Milwaukee for at least 5 more years. And let's get to the part of the video where Jelly J NBA breaks every single heart in Milwaukee. So obviously the huge con of Giannis not winning a championship this season is that it very well may be a make or break season in Milwaukee. 
With the Eastern Conference getting better and better, along with the return of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, Giannis may very well want to take his talents to the West in search of a title. With all of this being said, I think the player who benefits the most from winning a championship this season is Kawhi Leonard. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And that's the video guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for future content just like this.